Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Guys, finally Google announced that Joul is out of beta and this is their official post on Twitter. Today Joul grows up. We are officially moving out of beta. That means you can access all of the features of Joul and also it is production ready. And this is the interface that I have already talked about in my previous video. And at that time Joul was not in production ready. At that time it was in beta mode now it is currently out of beta and you can fully get the advantage of all of the features and here you see that some of the changes that they have added like uh, Joel can serve the web interactive plan mode critic agent built-in tester and here you see the test the web apps and show you the results so these are the important features that they have added i will discuss on that in this video so please stay with me you will learn a lot of things from this video okay and here you see that uh, this is the interface those who don't know what is Joule, it is basically an asynchronous coding agent where you will add your repository from the github and also you can switch between the branches and whatever the task you need to do you can keep that task to Jules and it will do that automatically one by one okay and some of the important features that they have added in this Jules is that Jules can now serve the web and they are saying that Jules can now proactively search the web for relevant content documentation or code snippets to help complete your task whatever the task if you have given if Jules doesn't have that knowledge then in that case it will serve the internet it will search the internet and it will find that relevant information to get your task done and here you see resulting in more accurate and successful task completion and one of the important thing is that Joul can find the latest documentation for dependencies libraries you are using suppose you are using that react 19 right it is one of the example that i am taking you are using react 19 react 19 is the latest now if you have done some coding in react 19 and if you given one task in that react 19 then it will find that latest documentation for you to get your task done. Joule can proactively find examples or code snippets that can help inform its implementation. Now the next features that they have added is this interactive plan. So if you go to their UI, here you see that after pasting the task or after writing the task, you will find this three dot button here so just click on this three dot button and now here you will see these two option one is the create plan another one is the start interactive plan so this create plan was there in that beta mode but in this production ready code or production ready environment they have added this start interactive plan so that means whenever any task you will give to this jewel and if you select this start interactive plan it will act as a task master and it will create the proper plan for you and after that only if you are satisfied with that plan you can go with the implementation so basically it is same as the uh, client act mode and plan mode i hope you got the point and this is amazing that they have added also some of the information meet interactive plan instead of jumping straight to the solution google jules will now read your code base and ask clarifying question and work with you to refine the plan this collaborative approach gives you more control ensures you are on the same page leading to higher quality code and more reliable information so jules will start a brainstorm with you and ask clarifying question so that you can get the best output Next is the critic agent and this is very much interesting and important thing that they have added. Here you see great developers don't just write code, they question it. And now so does Jules. We have built Jules critic agent to ensure that every line of code is not just functional but robust, secure and efficient. It acts as an internal peer reviewer challenging every proposed change to elevate the quality of final output suppose you are working in a team and there is a team lead right and whatever the solution that you are providing your team lead will 
find if if he finds that your solution is good then you, he will tell you that yes it is good but if your solution is not good then he will add more things on it on top of it right so here this critic critic agent also do that things here you see critic augmented generation the jules critic is integrated directly into the generation process every proposed change undergoes adversarial review before completion so whatever the task that you have given so before completion it will pass through this critic augmented generation reviewer okay next is the improve code quality the critic flags subtle bugs missed edge cases and inefficient code jules then uses this feedback to improve the patch in real time suppose you have seen that after this task is completed your some of the edge cases are missing in your generated code so you can list it down that missing edge cases and if you just submit the hit uh, this task button okay this uh, enter button then it will go through that improve quality uh, critic agent and also it will improve your code in real time next is the a new kind of review the critic is not just another inter or test it understand the intent and context behind the code similar to human peer reviewer so basically it is a based peer reviewer okay and uh, one thing is that you don't have to do any setup manually to get access to this critic agent it is a built in feature in this google jules so whenever you will give any task it will do its task automatically and here you see built on built on research the feature draws on research into multi step tool interactive critiquing and actor critic reinforcement learning where an actor generates and a critic evaluates okay next is the jewel can test web apps and show you the results this is very important and interesting also here you see next time when you are working on a front end project with jules ask it to verify its work and it will render the website and send you back a screenshot so suppose you are working on a front end project and you are asking jules that please test and verify my website then what it will do that it will do the testing and it will give you the screenshot back so that you can see the preview ask jules to complete a web development task and to verify the front end jules will send you screenshot of the front end along with any code changes the default jules base image now includes playwright for front end testing we know that playwright is a framework where uh, with the help of that playwright we can do the testing and jules uh, have that playwright built in so you don't have to do that testing manually you can ask jules to do that testing and it will do that users can also add images in the form of public urls for jules to use as an input okay so these are the interesting thing and also there are interesting another thing that environment snapshot for faster task so if you go to this jules here you will find one code icon here you see configure environment so now if you click on this configure environment uh, it will open one new page and on the left hand side you will see that it has selected that repository so in which repository you want to work please select that repository on the, from the left hand side and now go to this uh, configuration okay so if you go to this configuration then you will find that it is asking to do the configure so what is that configuration let me show you here you see jules will now snapshot your environment when you provide an environment setup script snapshots are loaded automatically next time when you run a task this provides for faster task startup especially for complex environment you can find environment configuration by clicking the code base in the left hand panel or by clicking the configure environment button in the task pane that i have already shown you that if you go to this uh, this section let me show you again so this is the main interface so if you click on this configure environment then you will find this page okay now here you see that what you can write here this is the environment setup guideline so if you just write uh, what are the things that you can include here yes this one 
environment setup see here for python this is the environment like the version that they have included and also if i scroll down you will find some information see npm install and npm run test suppose you are working on a react project in that case the initial setup is the uh, you have to install the dependency first npm install then you have to run the file by using that npm run dev and if you want to test your project then this is the command npm run test so you can uh, use this script in your this configuration here you can just paste it okay and you can uh, click on this run and snapshot and it will keep that information okay so whenever uh, this this uh, jewel will perform that test then it will use this information here you see after a successful test of the setup project setup script your environment will be snapshotted for faster startups for more information and a list of default tool set install see this 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 so this is the actual documentation that i am showing you so this is the things that um, whenever it will run that test or that comment one time then it will remember your comment for that specific project that you have selected from the left hand side repository list okay so these are the interesting and uh, important things that they have added and another thing is that open a peer review directly from the jules so after generating the code you can generate this uh, peer review directly from this uh, jules okay in this way just select this publish peer publish branch and generate peer it will do that for you and it will uh, uh, it will uh, directly raise that peer request and uh, you will see in github also it has been added for the pull request okay so these are the things that i wanted to share with you guys uh, and these are the interesting and important things and uh, you will see that daily task limit is 15 for the free user but uh, if you want to upgrade it you can do that okay they have that plan also because it is currently in the production ready mode so if you want to upgrade it then you can see on the left hand side there is a usage and limit so uh, if i show you here you see that for free you will get this 15 daily task and if you take this pro account i think it is uh, around uh, 20 to 25 dollar around that it will it will cost and it will you, you will get this 100 daily task and in ultra it will cost you it will give you 300 daily tasks okay so these are the important things i hope you found this video helpful guys this detailed explanation line by line all of that features i have discussed with you so if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and don't forget to watch the other videos also and if you are interested to learn python then in that case just go to this channel code digit and here you will find this one poll uh, that launching python full stack job ready course next week so please hit this ex excited button so that i can understand how much excited you are to learn python from scratch beginner friendly and also beginner to advanced job ready course so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye